What's going on, guys? Happy Thursday to all of you Bears fans out there. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Welcome in to Bears Now by Chat Sports. We've been waiting for this for the past day or two, and it is now appearing to be official. Ryan Bates is going to sign a contract offer sheet with the Bears. It doesn't mean he'll be a Bear. We'll explain all of that here on today's show. Brad Biggs had the news uh, first this morning. Want to give credit. Sounds like Ryan Bates intends to sign an offer sheet from the Bears. When he does, the Bills will have five days to match the contract. He also visited the Patriots and Vikings. Bates is a restricted free agent. And here we go. I know it's not some huge splashy name, but this feels like the next domino we've been waiting for for the Chicago Bears, especially when it comes to the offensive line. Ryan Bates is a guy that this team has zeroed in on uh, as a restricted free agent. That means the Bills can match any contract offer. We'll kind of explore what the contract offer looks like because those details have not yet been released uh, publicly. But uh, it does sound like he's going to sign that offer sheet, and uh, then we start the waiting game to see what Buffalo does. And to be clear, they may not wait all five days. They could match it right away, or they could publicly say, hey, we're not going to match it. Uh, you're with the Bears. We'll see. We'll explore all that coming up here. But first, want to get you guys involved in the show like we always do. Will the Bears get Ryan Bates? Is he going to be a Bear? Type Y for yes. Type in for no. Get your votes in on this one in the comments. And we'll go ahead and make this the pinned comment on today's video. So go ahead, scroll on down, and answer right there. I think Chicago is going to get him because – in the NFL, unlike the NBA, teams have a better feel. First of all, restricted free agency is a much smaller deal in the NFL. And second of all, teams have a better feel of what other teams are willing to match more often than not. I think the Bears have done their research. They know a number that they need to offer Bates to get him. I think they're going to get him. I think they're going to get him. Uh, but I do want to mention, I want to go back to this. The Bills have five days to match a potential contract offer. So uh, this could drag out until, you know, almost the end of March here as we sit here on March 24th. Now, the reason I think the Bears are going to get him, here's Courtney Cronin who covers the Bears for ESPN now. Uh, she tweeted this. Bates was given the low-level tender by the B Bills as a restricted free agent. If he signs an offer sheet with Chicago, again, looks like that's happening, Buffalo will now have five days to match the contract. Low-level tender is good for Chicago because it means they won't have to send a draft pick to Buffalo if Bates signs with the Bears. And then I'll add that on top of this. Bates RFA tender is $2.45 million, the low-level tender. So what does that mean? A couple things. One, the Bills like him, but they have so many other things going on. They gave Von Miller a huge contract. Like, they didn't place, like, a second-round tender on him or something like that. So basically they're like, okay, we'll give you a low-level tender. If no one signs you to a bigger contract, you'll come back at $2.5 million. So I clearly think the Bears are offering more than that. Uh, and uh, it's beneficial for Chicago as well. And I also think that there's a good chance the Bills won't match because they didn't even uh, place them on a tender that would require a draft pick to be sent, which uh, Bates is a good player, but I would not send a draft pick to Buffalo to do it. Since he's a low-level tender, they don't have to, which is – good if the Bears end up landing him. Now, how much would you offer Ryan Bates per year? Remember, that tender, $2.45 million. So you got to at least double that, I would say, uh, to feel safe about Buffalo not matching it. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments. I got to think that it's going to be $6-plus million per year uh, to feel good about Buffalo not matching. Now, maybe you could get away with five. That's right at double uh, what the tender was, but uh, Buffalo can clear up about six million still if they maneuver some contracts still, and you know potentially more if they want to do crazy moves. But they can get up to six million in cap space. So I'm thinking you got to go six or more if you are Ryan Poles. And look, if you view him as a starter, a multi-year starter, multi-year starters on the offensive line get six million dollars per year. That's not crazy money. He's 25. I think that would be a pretty good deal. This is why you subscribe. When the Bears make moves, we have it covered. Hit that big red button uh, below and share that link with a friend, youtube.com slash Bears now. Hopefully Ryan Bates lands with the Bears, and once it's official, we'll have a video on that as well. So hit that subscribe button, and uh, no one, I mean no one, will have you guys covered on the Bears like we will. By the way, we're just over 200 subs away from 45,000. Huge milestone for us. Uh, appreciate everybody who's already subscribed, and uh, to all you new folks who decide to do so as well, it's free. Help support the channel. We would appreciate it. So here's what the depth chart would look like if Ryan Bates lands here. 
Uh, and again, this is still a loose depth chart. I don't know what the tackle position would look like, but I think your interior would be set at least as far as starters go. Cody White here, he's going to stick around, I think, be your left guard. He could be a post-June one cut, but I doubt it. Lucas Patrick's going to be your starting center. Ryan Bates, I would guess, would be your right guard. Maybe you flip him and White here. Uh, Bates played left guard in Buffalo. Who knows? That could happen as well. Uh, and then Borum and Jenkins, we'll see what happens there. I'm guessing Jenkins flips to right, and then you go get a left tackle, and Borum's your swing tackle. That could be an option. Uh, obviously, Dakota Dozier, we'll talk about him. He signed last night as well. Here's the thing about Bates. This is a player entering his prime. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, he's literally only started a handful of games. Well, he started the final four regular season games last year, six games overall if you include the playoffs in 2021. The Bills really like this player. Now, they're not going to break the bank for him, but they really do like him, and they would like to keep him if the price is right. There's a reason the Patriots, the Vikings, which, by the way, I read the Vikings uh, – uh, we're going to offer him too, but he wanted to come to Chicago. Like he wants to be here. He's entering his prime. He fits the mold of what uh, the Bears want. He's violent, but also quick on his feet. That's big combination uh, for uh, Ryan Poles on what he wants this new O-line to look like because you're going to see this team run that outside zone scheme where guards are pulling quite a bit, and Ryan Bates can do that. If you study the film, he did that quite a bit down the stretch in uh, Buffalo last year. How excited would you be if Ryan Bates lands in Chicago? Scale of 1 to 10 – I'm not going to say anything crazy. We're talking about a young offensive lineman, but this would be a big move. I'd give it like an, you know, like an eight. Like this is big. You need more offensive line help. Hopefully, he ends up being a Chicago Bear. Now we'll talk about the Dakota Dozier signing in a moment, but uh, our deal of the day: Justin Fields jerseys are available for just ninety bucks. $89.99 plus tax. Go to chatsports.com slash fields jersey. That link is in the comments. It's in the description. Hey. Bears trying to protect him. You can rep him. Chatsports.com slash Fields Jersey. All right, uh, Dakota Dozier. This one signed. Uh, this contract came through last night. I believe it's a one-year deal, but contract details to be announced. Uh, Ryan Poles released a statement uh, that we'll get to in a second. Uh, if you don't know much about Dozier, Kind of been a part-time starter in his career. Did start 16 games in 2020 with the Vikings. Last year didn't start any. 27 starts over 76 career games. Uh, this is like a this is a good backup, uh, what I would say. You don't want him to start, but he can start in a pinch if injuries pop up. And as you know, those tend to happen. You need uh, you need guys like this. Here's what Poles had to say. Uh, quick statement here. We are happy to add another tough offensive lineman to our team in uh, Dakota. And then what he's done with every signing, thanking the agency. We'd like to thank Billy Connedy at Eastern Athletic Services for helping bring him to Chicago. I don't expect Dozier to start, especially if you land Ryan Bates. If you don't, you know, maybe it's possible. I still think the Bears would address that uh, position elsewhere. But the point being, I don't think D Dakota Dozier was brought in here to start. Look at the depth chart, guys. You need depth, too. It's not like this team has good offensive line depth. The only decent depth pieces you have are Sam Mustafer. I like him as a backup center. Again, you don't want him to start, but if he has to in a pinch, he can. He started 25 games over the past two years. Dozier is your second one. Who else is a quality backup? Now, maybe Borum and or Jenkins become that if they don't start, but that means you've signed one or two more pieces on top of this. You need depth, too, on the O-line, not just the starting five. Like, you want to feel good about seven or eight offensive linemen. Obviously, if you're down to your eighth, to ninth, ten linemen, well, you've had crazy injuries and you're going to be in some trouble, but you'd like to have two quality backups. Mustafer, if uh, if uh, Patrick gets hurt, he can come in and start. It's not ideal, but he can. Uh, Dozier, same deal, kind of a swing guard type. Could play a little tackle if you need it as well. Depth is important in the NFL, and I think this is a depth piece. If he starts from day one, that's not ideal. But if he's a backup, I think this is a good signing. Will Dozier be a starter next season? Predict it for us. Type S for starter, type B for backup. I think the plan is for him to be a backup. He's an insurance piece if he has to start, uh, but I'm going to type my B for backup. Appreciate you guys for tuning into today's show. Uh, busy free agency continues. I think this could be the domino that uh, picks things up a bit for the Bears. They have uh, you know over 25 million before this move, so uh, we will see uh, what happens next on that front. Plenty of cap space uh, to make some moves. YouTube.com/slash Bears now if you want to stay tapped in, locked in uh, for the latest Bears news, rumors, and updates. I'm Harrison Graham. We'll see you soon here on the channel.